Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Every week we bring you practice interviews, quizzes, and the latest news that help you get ready for your U.S. Citizenship interview. Today we have an interview with Maya Gomez from Guatemala City, Guatemala. Let's get started. Hello, how are you today? I feel a little nervous. How did you get here today? I drove my car. Why are you here today? I want to become a citizen. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I want to what? Please raise your right hand. To promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Put down your hand. What did you promise? I promised to tell the truth. Show me your green card, your passport, and your driver's license. Here is. What is your full name? My full name is Maria Gomez. Spell your last name. G-O-M-E-S. Is the name on your green card the same as your legal permanent resident card? Yes. What is your date of birth? February 2, 1990. What is the date of your permanent residence? February 20, 2010. What is your country of birth? Guatemala. What is your country of nationality? Guatemala. Was your mother or father a U.S. citizen before your 18th birthday? No. Are you Hispanic or are you Asian? I'm Hispanic. What is your current home address? 50 Main Hill Road, California, 95020. Who do you live with? I live with my family. Who is in your family? My parents and brothers. How do you support yourself financially? I work full time. Where do you work? I work in Walmart. What is your job at Walmart? Cashier. Since becoming a permanent resident, how many days have you spent outside the United States? 19 days. Since becoming a permanent resident, how many times have you been outside the United States? One time. When was the last time you left and when was the last time you came back? I left on December 24, 2017 and I'm back January 11, 2018. Where did you go? I went to Guatemala. And how many days total were you outside of the United States? 19 days. Now I'm going to ask you about what is your current marital status? I'm single. And how many children do you have? Zero. Okay. Now I'm going to part 12. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No. Did you vote in Guatemala? Yes. Have you ever voted in the United States? No. Why can't you vote in the United States? Because I'm not a citizen. Have you ever failed to file your taxes? No. Have you ever been in a mental institution? No. What is a mental institution? It's a hospital for crazy people. Do you have a title of nobility in your native country? No. Do you belong to any groups or organizations? No. Have you ever been a communist? No. What is a communist? A communist party from China, Vietnam, North Korea, Cuba. Have you ever been a terrorist? No. What is a terrorist? A terrorist used violence to control the government. Have you ever been arrested? No. What is arrested? To be taken by the police. Have you ever sold or smuggled illegal drugs? No. What are illegal drugs? Is narcotics. Narcotics? Can you give me an example of narcotics? Cocaine, opium. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. What is a habitual drunkard? A person drink too much alcohol, alcohol okay. every day. 
Have you ever gambled illegally? No. Have you ever lied about getting public benefits? No. What are public benefits? It's like a full stamp. Is medical? Free medical insurance. Yeah. Have you ever been deported? No. What is deported? To be arrested by the police and sent back to our country. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Yes. What is their Constitution? The supreme law of the land. And what is our form of government? Democratic. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. What is an oath? A promise. And what is allegiance? To be loyal. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance? Yes. So now, what is the oath of allegiance? I promise to be loyal to the United States. Do you promise to bear arms when required by U.S. law? Yes. What is bear arms? To carry a weapon to protect the country. Do you promise to perform non-combatant work? Yes. What is non-combatant work? Serving the U.S. Army without weapons. Do you promise to help during a national emergency? Yes. Can you give me an example of a um, national emergency? Airquam, fire. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Pueblo. Uh, name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Check and balances. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because some states have more people. Name two national U.S. holidays. Christmas, Thanksgiving. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Give driving license. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because some states have more people. What are two ways Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and join a political party. What is one thing that Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. diploma. Okay, very good. Citizens have the right to vote. Citizens have the right to vote. So who has the right to vote? Citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you. You passed. Thanks to the students and staff of Milpitas Adult School. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com where you'll find more resources for citizenship and the 2020 census. Thanks for listening. I know you will be a great American citizen. New year, new citizen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.